So welcome to day 25 of our Hacker Rank 30 days coding challenge and today we are going to be talking about running time and complexity. This seems to be a trivial problem because we simply want to find out if a number is prime. The difficulty, the difficulty level here is medium. Now a prime number is a natural number greater than 1 and has no positive divisors other than 1 and itself, given an, a number n, determine and point and print whether it is prime or not prime. Now what I want you to know is some rules when it comes to converting to prime numbers. So I'm going to go to my whiteboard, let me just show you. The first rule you have to know is that even numbers from 3 upwards or even numbers above 2 they are not prime. So that's one thing you want to first eliminate because we want to write a code that is efficient. So let me just develop the algorithm for you and then we are going to, I'm going to explain it. So I'm going to say for, for whatever in range. So I'm going to be reading the input. Uh, I'm going to be reading the input. Okay. So so, um, okay, let me kind of make it a bit easier. So the first thing we want to do is to get n. Uh, we have n is equal to input n. Of course, you need to, sorry, so this is just input, not input n. Of course, you need to convert it to int. Now, the first thing we need to check, for the first thing we need to check, I'm going to start a loop that says for I for I in range give me one second let me just clean it for I in range for I in range from zero to n okay so this is the input we are trying to read the inputs at this time so let's read the first one. So I'm going to say num is equal to input. Of course, we need to convert to int. All right. So now we have a number now. The first thing we want to do, if this number is 1, we quickly print out that it is not prime. So I'm going to say if this number, num is equal to 1, print not prime, Take note of the point I made about numbers being even. Even numbers above 2, they are always not prime. So let's start by checking that. So I'm going to say if, else, in this case now, the number is not 1. So I'm going to say if the number in question mod 2 is 0, Okay, and the number is above 2. So if number is number mod 2 is equal to 0 and the number is above 2, then this number is not prime. So I'm going to print. So in this case now, this number is not, it's not, uh, it's above 2, but it's above 2, but it might be an odd number because what we just checked here is for even numbers. That's what we just checked here. All right, so, but this number might be an odd number. So I'm going to say else. I'm going to now check. I'm going to now look from 3 to this number. So basically, I'm going to look from 3 all the way to, SQ, to the, uh, SQRT, to square root of this number. So I'm not looking from 3 to the number, take notes. So you look from 3 to the square root of this number. That's the most efficient way of solving it. I'm not going to explain that at this point. So that loop goes something like this, else for. So let me just take out these braces here. So for i in range. So we are going now from 3 now we are going from 3, 5, 7 because we already have established that even numbers are not prime. So we are not going to be going, to be going 3, 4, 5, we're going to be 3, 5, 7. We are checking the odd numbers. And we are going all the way to the square root of the number. Square root of a number is the number 
raised to power half. So all the way to this number, raised to power half. So star star one over two. I'm going to talk about this later when I talk about arithmetic and I'm going to be incrementing by two. So this is exactly what you do to check. So if the number mod i, if, if this number mod i, which is what we are reading from here, mod i, if this number mod i is equal to zero, we also print not prime, and break else we simply print prime so there is a basic algorithm on how it looks like i think it's going to make more sense when we write it in the code so let me go to the code window in hackerank and let's just write it out and see how it plays out so i'm going to first read the input i'm going to say for in range sorry so i i have to first read the input so i'm going to say n is equal to um and input dot strip all right so we have n and i'm going to now loop for in range r uh, n right so so this is for not from for so we are not interested in the index at this time so i'm going to now say seconds uh yeah okay yeah so i'm going to say norm is equal to inputs all right, impute. So I've read one number at this point. So we are going to be reading continuously until we get n impute. So based on the algorithm, if this number is one, if num is one, we simply print not prime. Then if this number is not one, it may be two or something else. So I'm going to say else and I'm going to say if, if this number is even, if number is even by this, uh, if number is even that number mode two is zero, and this number is above two, is even and it's above two, then it is not prime. And this number is above two. So even numbers above two, are not prime keep that in mind and i'm going to simply print not prime okay so let's now move to the next one which is odd numbers so i'm going to say else so in this case the number is odd so when it's odd for instance it's the number uh, five or seven or thirteen so i'm going to now use a for loop to go from one to this number to check and be dividing now we are saying for i, uh, for i in range. So we are going from three because we already checked one and two to ins, the square root of this number. So the square root of a number is the number to power uh, half, one over two. The number to power one over two. So, and here I'm going to just say two. So we increment by two. So because we are rounding to integer here, so we can just add one so that we don't miss out the, the middle number in the middle. So I'm going to add plus one here. So I'm going to, so in this case, I'm going to say if this number mod i is zero, then it's not prime. So if uh, norm, mod i is equal to zero print not prime 
and break. All right, so this is what the code looks like. I'm going to submit now and let's see what we have. So I'm going to run this code and let's see. So it did not work. So all arguments converted to string during formatting and it didn't work. So we have this number mod two is equal to zero and num is greater than or equal to two. Let's see. So we are going to convert this to string to integer here. And I'm going to say the strip. All right, so it's going to work, I think. So um, run code. So it passed the two sample test cases. And at this point, I'm going to just submit the code to see if it works. So it seems it's passed, it passed all the 10 test cases. So if you've come this far, I would like to give you a big thumbs up. Thank you for viewing and thank you for being there. And I will recommend you subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any updates. And if you have any comments or any recommendations you want to make, please write me a comment below this video. I remain Time on the Tech Pro and I'm always there for you.